Welcome to the V1200 HD control surface and tablet setup tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to set up the V1200 HDR controller as well as a Microsoft Surface tablet. It's really simple. All you have to do is take the controller, the HDR controller, connect it to a network hub, as well as you can take a computer either running our remote control software for Windows or remote control software for Mac. Or another option would be to use a Microsoft Surface tablet, either connect wirelessly to an Ethernet hub, or you can connect it wired to a network hub as well. Okay, so let's show you how to set up the Microsoft Surface. First thing we're going to want to do is go to our network settings. Go into our settings, go to our network and internet, and then I'm going to go to my Ethernet port, and I want to change the adapter options. And then I want to select Ethernet 2. And I want to tap that little arrow and change the settings of the connection. So what that's going to do is bring up my uh, Ethernet 2 properties. I want to click on IP4, uh, version 4. That's the TCP IP version 4. I want to tap on that, and I want to hit Properties. And then I want to manually put in the following IP address, uh, 192.168.10.1. And the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. And your DNS server address is just blank. Hit the OK button, hit close, and hit close. Now we should be connected. All right, let's bring up the remote control software on the Surface. So I'm going to go to All Apps, scroll through. It's going to be under the V1200 RCS. I click V1200 RCS, and it's going to ask me, do I want to do online mode or offline mode? I'm going to do online mode because I want to connect up to the V1200. All right, so you can see that the window that comes up looks exactly like the V1200. All right, I'm going to tap on H, uh, ME2. And notice that I also have ME2 um, on the actual uh, control surface as well. So I'm actually, uh, as you can see, as I'm switching here, um, I'm mirroring ME2. But the nice thing about having two controllers on a network is I can tap now ME1, and I can independently switch ME1, do my composition setups, so on and so forth, independent of the V1200 controller. So that's really nice. Also, I can go into my audio and change my audio patch-based settings. So you can have one person switching for the room and maybe one person switching for the broadcast. So anyway, that's how quickly and easily you can set up the V1200 HDR as well as another control device like a Microsoft Surface tablet.